the same opponent, the Union, the best team in Brazil. So it's not like they've been able to stretch their wings against, you know, a variety of opposition as we have a very quick pistol round, which I'm not surprised to see shit as both these teams are... <laughs> Got some timing here. But the problem wow. is nobody from Fusion's in the way. All the check from Theory. What? Heartsy didn't see him. Eyes must have been going somewhere else. Shion also playing aggressive through mid gets completely shut down. And 0 0 Nation after the timeout look almost more lost than they were beforehand. Oh, and Zan misses a shot, so they're able to get the market cross. And it's a wide open B site. No one was playing the backside. Great use of utility here at the back halls to keep BZ in at bay to make sure that spike can go down and they are in a very tough two on four retake one of those players on the retake is an op as well to make things even worse in these close range situations well, BZ and has to try to sniff something out not going to work out in any form Zandon the exit just looking to keep the operator shot even misses and now he's in trouble he's got a barrier blocking him two wow. players pushing forward it's better than we think but right now they are struggling Tempo change here, though, for Fusion. Martin gets the opener, but the follow-up is perfect for Adu. DZN also has to commit to staying on top of site. Little reveal on Adu. The creep fire, though, is just not landing. So the Null Command gets shut down. DZN will be sent to his grave. Artsy trying to rotate over, has done well to get one and get the Odin into play, but this is still a very difficult 2v3. Although made a little bit easier by Xion, and now it's just down to one. But Theory slipped the net, and oh boy, Theory may find himself on top of this proactive play. The problem is there is turret down, finds the first though. That could be in a really solid spot actually to avoid the majority of this Killjoy lockdown. Oh, oh baby. Also spent. Oh my goodness, PCN gets sent to the third floor. And how about beat it? Trying to get more for his work. Only takes down the one though. Does put a little bit of pressure on the zero zero nation on this retake attempt. Still locked on, has not been set yet darker. Playing off a little bit of elevation with the barrier orb once again. There's the lockdown. Oh Prediction my. from Zan, not going to work out. Darker, possibly looking for more and almost finds it. Xion, though, does deny. But again, this Viper's Pit, you can still stay in this outside the bounds of the lockdown. 2v2 situation. Xion, Martin, make their way on. Birdie, Theory, going to have to check this. Fast lane falls, holding it. Oh, but no. Theory, high. As once again, they're kind of playing this like tempered mid control. And, I mean, it'll be interesting to see if Zan can get anything from this. He's kind of on yep. an island, though. Oh, only gets seconds. the first off to say the alarm bot isn't here, so Zan has to stay over through mid. Follow-up kill from Theory, good through main. And now Bardeen, who does actually teleport in to try to help defense. And, oh boy, he's not in a good spot here. The fragment pushes him into a corner. The fault line also in play, but BZN holds his ground, finds the first. Gonna have to essentially do a 1v3, gets the second. Could he get three? No! Adu left. shuts it down. Does give an opportunity though for Xion in this 1v2, but everything resets as the spike is planted. Yeah, and it looks like the attacking side is going to be able to get into post plant positions together. You can see that Adu is trying to move closer to Mita so that they can actually play together and not get isolated into 1v1s. So they're trying to play a little bit of bait and switch. They now that know that Xion is coming through market and they will face him together. And that is just a chef's kiss, man. It's all available, and they went with the scent? So like, it just feels like whatever the game plan was in terms of trying to match up against this Fusion team is just not working out. It's now we have a little bit of aggression coming out from the side of Fusion. Global Strike sets things off, but actually it's Zan mid-map. Oh, look at this push through from the defense. BZN gonna take two with them. Hunter's Fury also used in support. And well, no way that Theory gets out of this. Starker will also from tree. And Zan is already up top. As soon as this dark cover fades, he will be in a little bit of trouble, but instead opts to just back away. Now time starts to become a bit of an issue. No moves yet from Fusion on this retake. And still, they're worried about a possible flank through mid. A late check from Meaded. And now all of a sudden, this hit has to find success immediately. And it's simply not. Zero Zero Nation looking good on this post plant setup. Here comes the last attempt for Fusion. A lot of it cut down before it can even get started. Still have a 2v2, now a 2v1. Hold on a second, Zan's by himself. Spike gonna be defused or at least attempted to, but Zan drops on in to get the Zeddy clutch for the 1v2. But I was impressed by what Fusion did in the first half, so we'll see. Very early and deep null command that barely affects anybody on the site itself here for Fusion. Play through tree, still working on it. Oh, Martin gets caught in the teleport theory up top. We'll put it over the finish line. Respect the backside. You can see it there with Yadu the having to watch their spawns freeze up some gaps, but Darker oh, boosted, finds Art Zine. Man advantage, and now Adu finds Zan. That's the tip of the spear, blunted. And this is looking dangerous. That was supposed to just be a lurk, essentially. 
So now Mita through the sky smoke. So Five well down, done, timing-wise. BZN is just hoping he can do the same thing, and to be fair, he will. But this is a 2v5 now to a 2v4 with only 30 seconds on the clock. Fragment will block off the defensive cross. But the fault line also kind of keeps BZN in play, so it's six of one, half a dozen of another. And now Theory, remaining. down low, looking for the final two to tally. Martin keeps it interesting, then maybe it's even more interesting. This would be a 1v4 for him. He does have the spike to play with, and an isolated 1v1 on sight. The problem is Theory's just playing for Ten sound. Oh, he's got Round elephant ears. Oh, that doesn't matter! Martin gets the shot off! Now it's just out of the 1v1! Birdie throws out the relay bolt. It will land, and that will make life very Apple easy. Apple doesn't get much worse for them, so... Wow. Launching smoke. What a turnaround this could be. Mita, oh, feeling the pressure. Mm -hmm. Cues up the orbital strike, and all you need is the information here. This is going to be stacking through market. There's the flash, and with that also, the fault line. It does split this offense up. Adu steps in. He finds one. Mita for the back gets another, and this breakdown from Fusion is near flawless, but still the number is decent here for Zero Zero Nation. Made even better as BZN cleans up one through mid, but Verdi through the backside of the defensive spawn. Takes down two. Spike down. BZN into the 1v1. Birdie has gotten on towards staircase and will get it done Defenders himself. It's win. technically a 1v3 from Birdie and do. Fusion. Woo wait, where did that come from? Kind of the thick of this uh, piss around. We're going to see a huge drop play. Orb also gets placed to kind of help separate after the smoke skin. Initial nade started to kind of litter the zone. A little bit of chip damage onto Theory. He's going to have to back off the angle for now while Artsin actually doesn't fully commit to the initial plan. So it gives a little bit more time here for Fusion on their rotation in. Verdi's also trying to play back through the backside at drop, and the first contact is good. Xion drops. Not of the 5v4. Retake on the way. Get into work, try to chip away at this barrier orb, and everyone's going to come through the same side together. But the clearance is decent, and BZN is going to fly all the way to the other side. He needs to make sure that his teammates stay alive, and they're simply not. Adu's already on for the defuse. It's already passed halfway. Oh, Zan's not going to be able to get here in time, and Fusion will win another pistol. This time, it's just 0-0 zero, zero Nation giving up the entirety of the site after they get the plan off. We are kind of seeing one of those 4-1 plays unfold now, but it's the raise by himself that Zan uh -oh. quickly found. That's a trait, and it'll also be a weapon collected. Quick rotation, though, out from Darker, trying to make his way back over. Zero Zero Nation, still already on towards site, but this is by design here from Fusion. Yep. Playing back towards screens and also looking to kind of get a flank through tower side, but Art's in no, already over the top, but Darker can scout him out from the top of the smoke. So another kill is tallied. And we go into a 4v3 situation, and this post plant is very split. Two players back towards tree. Another lurking over towards arcade tunnel side. And this utility is the only thing that's gonna stop Fusion for now. Here's the first check. Xion can do nothing in the corner. Darker gets three in the round, working on a potential ace. Theory stepping in towards tree side, spammed down by BZN. Follow up now by Darker, also denied by BZN. Oh my goodness, BZN! No, can't quite get everything, but Barty. Paint shells, which will tag a little bit of damage on. BZN from the other side of the A site held back, and now gonna be tested, but Theory maybe biting off more than he can chew. BZN is just not hitting shots, though, finally. Goodness, sloppiest kill joy gunfight we've seen in a minute. Does work wow. out. Artsin also gets another one over the top, and looks like Zero Zero Nation should be comfortable for this post plant hole. Still full purchase, and Burton got four kills there at the end, so he's almost back. Oh, baby. Be My God. Strike and, well, once more, just the opening play from Fusion is working out for these first bloods more often than it's not, Dude, to put it plainly. They've done their homework. Sky Smokes it's will so evident. still allow Zero Zero Nation in, but uh, yeah, you're absolutely right. I mean, this has been Fusion besting Zero Zero Nation at every turn, and they're not even gonna try to allow Burton to get out. Smoke will allow him still a chance. Birdie playing over towards Hall, shut down by Xion, and now the problem becomes a little bit more dynamic here as trades continue to litter the kill feed. Adu turning the tides, though. Barton last one left. This time it's Amali just trying to keep him safe from one side of this play. But he's gonna have to win some gunfights here, and he gets completely flashed out. Beautiful retake by Fusion. A lockdown with many more that could be earned as Zero Zero Nation make their play over towards B. It is completely vacated, so this Rolling Thunder will not hit anything. Now it's just time to what do you spend on this retake if you're Fusion? 
and how do you spend it? Is it going to be a three-man hit over through the top side of the map trying to take control of Arcade, maybe even Tower, as the lockdown's going to come out as well, and it's not really going to stop too much of anything. Orbital Strike spent to respond. That will force Zero Zero Nation to bunker down a little bit more. Rolling Thunder, Showstopper out, but oh, signed up top! Uses that as a chance to get the kill, turn into a Showstopper of his own, and he connects it onto B-Ted. Whoa, what a hold this has been for Zero Zero Nation. The underhand onto Adu. Doesn't quite work out. Darker also gets one in return. Nightfall now spent. We go to a 3v3. Orbital Strike comes down for the offense. Make it to there's no chance to defuse, but Darker collects another kill. Looking for now more with the weapon, and he's gonna the alleyway towards main halls, and we will go into what is essentially a 5v5 retake, except for BZN, who's gonna try to wrap oh over the opposite direction, and Theory catches him, so now 5v4 we go. Nice frag there, though, onto A Duty, even it back up on this retake right now as they're starting to gather up together and start pouring onto the A site. Again, this is one of those post plant holes that's completely focused towards the A Hall's direction. It's going to be a lot uh -oh. of just spamming through uh -oh, slow slow for the best. But yeah, like I said, the barrier, barrier blocking it. <laughs> oh, man. That's dirty. <laughs> Such a good picture in picture right there. Down is going to allow them to get into B for free. Full rotation from 0 0 and over towards arcade side. So they will have some position to try to fight this off from. And a good angle you would think for Zan to maybe use some of this utility, but not fully going to work out. Blind showstopper being spent to clear out the backside screens. Artisan does get affected by a lot of this, and Bernie will have a free one. Now over towards where the action's actually coming from. 0 0 Nation getting a trade, but the post plant gets set up deep over through tree side. And the utility is not all that great here for Zero Zero Nation in terms of being able to clear that out. So we're going to do it the hard way. I mean, good God. They have... Yeah, it's going to completely toy with the clock. And this is going to be a 5v2, but all the barrier orb does get placed. Vault line out, looking to force the gunfight, but oh, huge Five shots from Artsen. Rolling Thunder too. set, but the slow orb is in such a good space. Artsen will be traded, but that is all a very worthwhile cost for Zero Zero Nation. Just comes down to can BZN get out and no, he will not be able to. So the rifle's off the table. Spectre's in the sheriff, last thing left. Oh. Rolling Thunder at the ready. She has gonna use that. Adu will not get the plant off. Aftershock spent to make sure there's no trade. Martin looking to clear, but isn't able to. Showstopper though connects for a double, and then Xion puts it over the finish line. Doing? Oh, he's going crazy. Okay. I'm with you. Thank you for the A site. I think that's what that trigger was. <laughs> hey man, that's one way to do it. Yep. Nothing to stop you. Martin does earn the orbital strike though, and the fault line connects. Orbital strike set right afterward. That does take down Adu. So now we have a 5v4. Oh, oh no. and Meathead gets shut down through the offensive spawn. No exit from the site here for Fusion. Darker would have to 1v2 to create another exit. Flash goes first. Does hold off the Zero Zero Nation hit from one That's side, but ready. now you look towards drop. Here comes the rest of the retake attack. Birdie, oh, Birdie gets two. Huge response, and Darker finds another. Just down to a 2v2. Resurrection's gonna come through, but Darker steps into it, and he'll find the kills needed to the 1v1. Xion, long range. Darker tries to go over to the pistol, and he'll get four by way of- True, to be fair. Here comes the hit. There are defenders on oh. site though. BCN just gonna use this sentry turret a little while longer. Artson gets one off drop. Here's the follow up and no one had any idea that BCN was still on site. Clean defense so far for Zero Zero Nation. Birdie trying to cause problems. It almost, and actually still has a chance possibly to do more, but BCN steps forward just to be someone off his flank still. Very well could from Barton. Oh, the counter fall line was nearly perfect. Timing wise, while well, Xion still gets the blood. I just can't find an opening Flash anymore. Out, me dead. Oh Spike my. Down a. Couple of trades do come through. Now we've got ourselves into a 4v3 situation. Full rotation back over towards Zay with the spike down. But thing is, Theory's gonna beat the timing here. Theory's gonna beat the timing here. Finds the first shot, no problem. Molly for Nanostorm gets exchanged. Showstopper goes a bit too wide. Theory steps up. There may be a chance for him to catch one oh! by surprise. Oh my goodness, what a shot. Now with the Vandal in hand, Spike will be planted. BZN, Barton, looking for a chance to retake. Barton's position now known. And Orbital Strike will be sent. Can Barton get away from this? No, he cannot. Just down to BZN for the 1v2. Shots in the corner, good for the first. Now the 1v1. Meenan gets the molly off, checks it. Has time to spare. BZN comes close. 
Lockdown gets spent. Alarm bot also there. Meat has got to make a decision here. He's going to have to check this at the very last second and hope. BZN hops on, but the shot is there. And Fusion will take down Zero Zero Nation in 204.